Let's build something. Ciao. Right, so what I've been doing for the past couple days is I've been making a shield out of just a wooden plank. And um, a small while ago, uh, we were clearing up uh, my old room because my for my brother, it's a, basically a spare room. But um, there was a couple shells in there. And you can see, because that's where all the struts and stuff were. And um, so I thought, what better to make out of it than a shield? Uh, it's not exactly a traditional style, but um, so yeah, this this video is coming out a bit late because uh, I didn't exactly record making the first amount because I didn't think I'd be uploading it. But um, this is the point how I've got gotten to so far. I've got a couple time lapses set up. Um, of some of the bits and bobs that, I, that I've done, so grinding this out, making these grooves, uh, this handle. All I really did was cut, uh, just cut out a couple bits of floorboard. That's these two, which are hardwood oak, and I think this is oak as well. I don't think it's might no no that's. That's from a floorboard, that's all the same board I think. Um, but uh, just cut out two bits uh, and then stuck another one on it, screwed it onto those and then screwed that on. They're using two otherwise they were going to twist around. Um, really simple uh, handle. Um, by the way this is the stuff that I haven't, I don't, actually I've recorded most of this, uh, that's in the time lapses. This uh, rounded off the handle, just a little bit chiselling, a little bit of um, sanding. Same thing with these bits on the side. I'm going to be remaking a handle uh, out of one solid bit of wood. And then what I did after that was get this. I just got a belt buckle, old belt buckle, kind of army style. Not quite sure, but it's got that uh, you know like um, army green on it. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, yeah, I can't think of what it's called. It's just army green. Why not? Um, so just means that you can tighten it, open it up. Uh, you just pop that through, and you can fasten it for whoever's arm. It's it, this isn't specifically designed for me. Um, I've kind of designed it around my arm, but um, it was originally meant to be some sort of mech arm out of wood but then uh, I'd gotten to this stage and I thought that's a pretty nifty shield because look it covers quite a lot of the arm when I hold it it goes all the, almost all the way up to the shoulder and past the hand so uh, Gene it, I, I thought it'd be a really nice handle because um, no shield sorry I've already got a buckler here and uh, it's a similar premise because a buckler's not a full shield. A, a, an actual shield, a historical shield, is a lot bigger than a buckler. It's a tiny little thing. And so it's kind of inspired by a buckler. It's like a mix between a buckler and a tower shield, if that makes sense. Um, this is what I'll be making the handle out of. Uh, I've already drawn out the handle. Um, I'll be doing that later this evening. And then that pre pretty much brings you up to date. These grooves here, this is for a spear to go along. It's made for both arms, whether you're left-handed or right-handed. Otherwise, there's just sanding, all sorts of stuff. And yeah, uh, other than that, let's get on with the time lapse.
Right, so in that video, what you probably could have seen, even though it was the tie nice, which was pretty quick, uh, I'm at, I was doing this curve here and this curve here. Look, one of the problems that I ran into was uh, at that time I hadn't honed the chisel, so it was a little bit blunt because uh, some of the tip had curled. Not sure if that's the right terminology, but whatever. And so when I came up to a knot on this corner here, the chisel had an arse of a time trying to get through it. So that was a bit of a ball ache because it kept peeling off and chopping off quite a lot of excess wood, which I didn't want. Um, so a, a lot of this work was smoothed out with a sander. And um, if you don't know, a really good trick with this um, with sandpaper is to get something hard like just another bit of wood or sometimes you can get specially made ones with like some sort of velcro on the bottom of it and uh yeah of course right. um what you can do is if you don't have one with the velcro stuff on the bottom you wrap it round really tightly around a block of wood handle um hammer handle whatever you need to fit the shape and then after you wound it round tightly, place your finger on it, or two fingers if it's uh, if it's really f floppy, I guess, or if it's under a lot of ten tension, just so it doesn't spring off. And so you hold that on, and um, I'm I'm sure I could. I'll put a video at the end of here just showing you how to do it, and then. Um, that just means that you have a harder surface underneath the sandpaper, which means it just tends to dig in a little bit more. Uh, I think I'll be able to show you here. This is like, this is just an example. This is what you use to clean glasses and a pen. Uh, all you do, you just get this, imagine this is a sandpaper, this is a hammer handle, something like that. You just wrap, you just wrap the wood around it really tightly, and then you put your finger on it. Then let's say you put it in here. That means you get the curvature of the handle as well as a hard surface underneath it. Something else you would have seen in that time lapse is me making these grooves. Now this is actually one of the first times I've made a groove like this into some wood. Personally, I think they look pretty good. And um, something they do quite nicely is they stop it just from looking as much of just a plank of wood because before it still does look like a plank of wood obviously but uh it's starting to look a lot better and a lot more presentable and uh the reason was because if i just get a sword here um this will do just a uh, bokken um what kept happening is it kept sliding up and down and it wasn't very stable whereas this allows it to glide through and keep that position if that makes sense same works with spears and uh, yeah it sits really nicely in it uh, try it with a synthetic sword as well you can see it works really nicely and keeps it in place spears would obviously work a lot better with this but uh, again, it takes away from that shape. The good thing about it is, it doesn't ex um, expose any of the arm. It's if it was, uh, if I put it straight, if it was around here, probably would expose some of the seps, some of those guns, um, <laughs> non-existent. But it would probably expose some of these. So it just makes it. Ideal because of the positioning it makes it easier to put um, swords and spears on and doesn't expose any skin I, There's something else the final thing I think you would have seen in that time-lapse is This handle a little bit of chiseling around it and uh, Just to make it rounded off, but getting rid of that soon anyway this evening uh, what you'll see next is just another quick time lapse. What was one of the thoughts going through my head was it's fine, it's just completely fine with bare hands, right? Bit of room to spare, that's fine. If you need to 
I don't know what you would store up there, but if you had something, uh, if, you know, if you had thin gloves or something like that, that would work fine. But I was thinking, in the event that you had gauntlets, thick padded gloves, mittens, if it was cold, then you'd probably want a bit of breathing room because it's, because uh, this flat, because it's hard obviously, it doesn't give you much, much resi um, give, that's the word. So what I've done here is I've ch used the chisel to make a really nice groove in here. You might not be able to see, it's about half a centimetre, two thirds of a centimetre deep, that's at the lowest. And it's, um, if I just show you with my knuckle here, let's say that's, that's how you're holding on to it. It's got the groove, the deepest part is where the knuckle is because that's where the knuckle's going to be moving around the most and the rest of it is a uh, fairly shallow a bit like um when the sea's at low tide and you well, let's see if i can get a good angle i'm not sure if you can see it very well because of the handles in the way but um before this we honed the well i gave it a go and it was, it was, for me at least, it was really difficult because I couldn't get accurate um, cuts because I, because it felt like the wood was too hard. But we actually sharpened it. My dad come, comes out and um, I've got a video, actually, now that I say that. I'll show you the video, then I'll carry on. I'll see you in a second. It's, right. it's just a video on uh, just learning how to do this. So how do I repair that then? Well, you, well the only way you'll repair it is by, by grinding it out. Yeah? Yeah. But, this, I don't think this stone's really heavy enough for you. Does it need a heavier grip? Yeah. And it's quite fine, or it is, yeah. Because it's bowing out. You start just chiselling it out, and I don't really want to chisel it out. But that's okay, mate. That's really sharp, mate. There you go, just learn how to sharpen a chisel. So, as you saw in the video, my dad comes out and sharpens the um, chisel. Now I know how to hone a chisel. Uh, really useful, because after we'd sharpened it, the chisel fucking glided through the wood. It was so pleasant, genuinely enjoyable to use, and it showed the difference between taking care of your tools and using them, um, using them properly, because when you have a sharp chisel you're you're less likely to slip and uh, when if you slip with the chisel chances are if it's going to slip it's going to go into your hand or it's going to it's going to mess up your um, piece 
so it's a it's a lot better to take care of your tools and um, keep them clean, sharp, and whatever. Now I've got to cut the video short. I'm afraid uh, it's it's nearing 16 minutes. That's a bit too long for this type of video. But uh, I, I do hope you've enjoyed uh, just a mix of time lapses, me talking. Sorry, I don't have any videos of the earlier stages. But um, I will. In the next video, I'll be showing you a couple time lapses of me doing that uh, handle, and soon or later, I should be making a new handle. Um, sorry, hand groove. Uh, you'll see a time lapse of the hand groove, and you'll see a video. In that video, there should be um, a time lapse of making the new handle with this bit of wood here. So look forward to that, I guess, and thank you very much for watching. Love you all. Have a nice day. Peace of the world.